Now I want to get into what we filmed uh, December 2nd at sunset going up into paradise. We were not allowed in. What we saw coming up and down the hill was a massive, massive, massive PG&E operation, as you'll see here in a sec. But look at how they take out the signs, folks. They take out the signs. They want to tear it in half. Look, this is Whiskey Springs up at the car fire. That's how they do it. So here's our uh, uh, Shelly, uh, Lewis, and I are recording of what we saw the other day. <laughs> Oh, man. We've that here. They're coming off the hill. Look at them. They're going in, cleaning the fuck out of everything. Of course. So there's 20,000 people and, they use and it in many the... trucks to clean everything out for what? And they so use why it... do they have all the trucks? And they use it in the freaking... Uh, under the disguise of, oh, it's not safe to go in there, and we're protecting each other it's from looters. Look what at what we're, we're seeing about heavy equipment, though. Think about that for a second. If there's only 25,000 people in town, what is that many heavy equipment for? What are they doing? with all these trucks for a small town that they're calling the biggest disaster. They're calling it the biggest disaster in the history of California. That's where we're at right now. Now, why are we seeing all these trucks? Why did we see the setup there? We probably are going to see, if we come back here, keep doing this, FEMA camp empty and be drilled, delivered up here. Wait, say that again? The first thing you do when you build anything out is you put the road in, then you put the rigging in. This is the rigging. And they put their stuff in. That's the FEMA camp stuff they're bringing in in the summer. It's crazy. So they're setting up. This is their home. And they call it paradise. Oh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if FEMA would, would set it up, right? Because this might be their new headquarters, do you think? Yes, dear. So I do think that, right? Yeah, that's what I see. I mean, that's why, why else would you see? I mean, we didn't see pg e trucks like this. Look at them coming up the mountain. Look at them going home to the hotels or wherever they're staying. Look at all the people that got out of town that had contracts for six months. Well, that's why all the hotels are booked. They're staking the country. It's not. It's not actual residents that got out. It is freaking for the FEMA people and the, all the security that they flew in from all over. What was the name of that security company? Fast Track. Fast Guard. Fast Guard Security. And if you look international or national, Fast Guard Security. They were at the four camps, the four camps, the security guard who had been from Georgia, who had been there uh, since since the start, November 8th. He showed up on that day of the fires. There's, they're closing down the one we were at that held 90 people plus the NARA virus people in blue tents. And uh, he said that he has some heartwarming story about 90 year old man who um, lost everything, had his dog and stuff, and brought him food, brought the guard food, because the guard was working so much, 12 hour days and Wasn't stuff. Wasn't it his dad, he lost his son too. He lost his son too, and he had a beautiful, he always cried about the beautiful act of kindness. And um, that was beautiful, and the tragedy was, you know. Oh, base he, camp. Yeah. So, it looks like they're setting up a camp here, folks. It looks like they're clearing out the place. Uh, they just torched it, they're clearing it out, they're putting the rigging in. What's weird is they're taking out these trees that don't even need to be taken out. Well, what's weird is they're cleaning the streets. Yeah, why are they sweeping because, the streets? Uh, that's the second sweeper I've seen wow. they're uphill why are they cleaning sweeping the, the roads. You clean them for dirt so the trucks last longer because you don't have the dust. But, if you got royalty coming in, <laughs> you're making it your home, you're gonna clean it real pretty. That's what we do. So they start with the sweepers. Why would you bring the sweepers right in the way up? Oh my disaster? gosh, some of these trees, dude, look, some of the trees on the bottom are like half singed. I'm talking about you just recording. So it's Sunday, it was December 2nd. It's about sunset, five o'clock, looking west. We're in paradise right now, in paradise up on the bluff. Looking down towards the west, it's a very spooky, eerie, ugly sunset. Don't see two suns yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if I do. We've seen many things on our journey and we have Deborah Tavares and Lou and we have two fire captains one will name Captain John Lord is just a true hero true gentleman and um, other than that um, um, we have uh, another man who's doing a yeoman's job who's going to come out uh, fireman as well very seasoned one just pad uh, who are first uh, count, uh, uh, storytellers uh, relators, uh, very emotional, very, very moving. Uh, Deborah Tavares and a group of us were there to talk with them, and um, their stories will be coming up and published here. And um, I think, oh, can you get over here and look at the PG&E site? 
Do you see that right over there, folks? This is sunset, 5 o'clock. I better be keep moving. But they're all turning off here. This is the massive site we just stopped at. Oh, this is where the guards wouldn't give their name, wouldn't say where they're from, uh, took pictures of us. And look at all the PG. and Are you fucking, excuse me, oh no, I don't care. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at the tents over there. This is all PG and E for what? Clown of 20,000 people? Are you kidding me? Wow. That's what are they building, folks? They're here so fast. This is two weeks later. What are they doing? They scorched no, everything around. He said he'd been here for three weeks, remember? Three weeks. Okay, give them a week to set up. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. They exactly. knew exactly. And this is on a bluff looking at sunset. It's a very beautiful bluff it in is. paradise. It's gorgeous. Do we see cell towers? No, but we saw a Gwen Tower, ground wave emergency network that they use for the tomography to send the, send the vibrations they want to frequency this modulator. It's gorgeous here. It's so pretty. I can see why they would want this land. And they predicted it in a book called Miss Shell Shelley. Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost by John Milton. Yeah, it's actually a poetry book. Here's this. Twelve poems. 